All right, let me put this content out real quick for the viewers. Got to keep it coming. All right, hello viewers. Another beautiful day. Yeah, hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. We're excellent. What? All right, now got a little update on the MSI Claw 8 here. AI it says your MSI Claw 8 AI Plus gaming handheld powered by Intel Lunar Lake is set to launch in 2020. Five. And we got four comments. It says here uh, today, uh, MSI again showcasing its Claw 8 AI Plus powered by the Intel Core Ultra 200V series, codenamed Lunar Lake. This product is the only device being displayed by MSI at IFA 2024, although several other laptops were announced today. We were particularly interested in MSI discussing this product, given its gaming centric focus. And the fact that it was announced three months ago at Compute X as the first gaming device featuring Intel Core Ultra 200 Lunar Lake CPU. However, MSI did not allow anyone to touch the device at the time. Now at IFA, the handheld is available for hands on experience, likely only for the press. But it appears that no one can actually use the device to check the full specs. Although the official press release state that MSI is launching the product, the actual launch will not be happening soon. This is disappointing news confirmed by MSI Compute Base. It also worth noting that this information is not mentioned in the press release. With the Claw 8 AI Plus, MSI is also presenting the first Windows 11, Windows 11 gaming handheld with the new Intel Core Ultra Series 2 processor and significantly increase AI performance at IFA 2024. Sales are scheduled to start in early 2025. Buyers of the Claw 8 AI Plus will receive a free one month, a, a free one month trial of Xbox Game Pass. MSI at IFA 20, 2024. It says that the MSI Claw 8 is no, the, the MSI Claw 8 is larger handheld compared to the previous generation. The Claw uh, 7, which features a 7 inch screen, the new device is said to have an 8 inch display. It's also worth noting that the aspect ratio will change from 16.9 to 16.10 additionally. The new claw will come with a larger battery increase from 53 watts to 80 watts, matching that of the ROG Ally X. And then it says the MSI Claw versus MSI Claw 8 AI Plus, SOC Intel Core Ultra 100H Meteor Lake. And then the Core Ultra is 200 volts uh, Lunar Lake. And then it says uh, memory is uh, LPDDR5 uh, And then for the eight, uh, for the eight is LPDDR5X uh, 8533. So it says uh, screen size is uh, seven inch, 1920 by 1080, 120 hertz uh, uh, refresh rate VRR. And then for the new model is eight inches, 1920 by 1200. 120 hertz VRR battery uh, 53 watts for the, the for the claw 7 and for the claw 8 is 80 watts USB is one uh, one ton one Thunderbolt 4 for the claw 7 but for the for the claw 8 is 2x Thunderbolt 4 and SSD storage uh, for the claw 7 is m.2 2230 and for the claw 8 AI is m.2 2280 it says there's a small increase in weight and size, but this also allows MSI to include larger M.2 2280 storage and add a second Thunderbolt, uh, four, Thunderbolt 4 port, bringing the total to two. MSI has also confirmed that all purchasers of the new Claw 8 will, re will receive one month of Xbox Game Pass for free. Additionally, the Claw 8 is not intended to replace the existing design but will offer alongside it uh, it's worth mentioning that MSI has already revealed plans to update the Claw 7 to the Lunar Lake platform as well then it shows the handheld consoles it shows the video card got a little chart here it says handheld, handheld gaming consoles <laughs> are portable PCs that is uh, you got the MSI Claw 8 AI then you have the MSI Claw you have the Lenovo Legion Go and the ROG Ally X and pictures of, of all four handhelds 
architecture is our Intel Lion Cove Sky Mount XE uh, 2 LPG. And then for the claw, it's uh, Intel Redmond, Redwood Cove uh, Crest Mount uh, XE LPG. And then, and then you have an AMD Zen 4 RDNA 3 for the for the Go. And then for the for the Ally X is AMD Zen 4 RDNA 3. APU is a uh, Core Ultra 200 volts. Uh, 135 for the claw. Uh, for the for uh, for the Legion Go is a uh, what's that a, a Ryzen what's that it's Ryzen Z1 Extreme uh, and then a Ryzen and then a Ryzen Z1 and then the same goes for the ROG Allies Ryzen Z1 Extreme and then the SOC is in Arc uh, Arc uh, Graphics 8 XC2 cores. And then for the claw is 7XEC 2.20 gigahertz. Uh, that's for the uh, for the for the for the claw. And for the for the Legion Go is AMD uh, IG, iGPU 12 CUs and four. And then for the rug is AMD iGPU 12 CU uh, 2.7 uh, gigahertz. And then for the TDP. 17 watts 28 9 to 30 uh, USB 4 for the Legion Go and 9 to 30 USB 4 for the um, for the claw but for the MSI is two, uh, 28 1 Thunderbolt and for the MSI claw 8 AI it's a uh, 2 Thunderbolt uh, 4 then for memory 16 gigs or 32 for the AI, AI 8 uh, 16 gigs uh, for the for the for the for the original claw the seven and then 16 gigs for the um, Legion go and then for the rock ally X uh, is 24 gigs of uh, 7500 uh, DDR5 and then you have uh, let's see what's this uh, storage capacity TBC uh, for the claw 7 512 Legion go is one terabyte 512. And then for the ROG Ally X is one terabyte. And then let's see, and storage type is 2280, 2230, 2244, 2280. And that's for the AI8 Claw 7 Legion Go. And um, what's that? Uh, ROG Ally X. And what's that? Connectivity, Wi-Fi 7 PT4, Wi-Fi 7 for the for both claws, BT4. And then for the Legion Go is Wi-Fi 6 BT52, and then for the uh, ROG Ally X is Wi-Fi 6 BT5.2, and then weight TBC 675 for the Claw 7, 854 for the Go, 678 for the ROG Ally X Dimension TBC for the AI8. Uh, 29.9 by 11 by 7 by 2.1 centimeters for the claw 7 and that's 20 29.9 uh, 13.1 by 4.1 centimeters then 28.0 11 by 4 3.7 centimeters for the rock LIX and then OS Windows 11 Windows 11 Windows 11 then launch price 799, 749, 799. Then release date early 2025. Uh, ROG, uh, uh, MSI Claw, the original, March 2024 is already out. Legion Go, October 2023, already out. And then for the uh, ROG LIX, July 2024, so it's already out. And we got about five comments. <laughs> and then Regal said this. I thought it was going to be quarter quarter uh, three 2024 and Patrick was like quite a bummer having to wait for an additional four months I hope for M I hope for MSI people won't have lost interest by then <laughs> and then um, Cardi said this there will be still this Acer showcase tomorrow we will see what they will say about their handheld <laughs> and then native code said this with the high demand Expected, they have finally decided decided to sell more laptops with higher margins. Selling a handheld for a thousand plus was a bad idea anyway. <laughs> there you have it. So this was just an update. 
of the, of the MSI Claw AI8 that's coming out next year. 20, will launch in 2025. So, so if you were planning, planning to, if if you thought it, if you were planning and thinking that it was coming out this year, well, you got four more months to wait. So save all your money because uh, next year, uh, let's see, Nintendo is supposed to be coming out with a new Switch. Hmm? Who else? Um, now we got Acer on, on the on, with their new handheld. They'll talk about that tomorrow. Hey, and Neo came, invaded the U.S. Hmm? Valve is Valve is being secretive about the Steam Deck too. They won't say anything. <laughs> or maybe they're not ready yet. And the competitors like Logitech, Zotac is out. Logitech. Odin, Orange Pie, uh, Oxo, One X, GPD, uh, Lenovo, uh, MS, MSI is out. MSI, their com their new model comes out next year, and ASUS already got a new uh, the ROG Ally X, so. 2025 should be a good year in video games. 2025, so. We shall see what comes out. Hmm. But in the meantime, save your money. Hmm. Save your money for next year. Hmm. Um, there's a PlayStation PlayStation 5 Pro coming. I don't know if they're going to drop it this year. Or, you know, I don't know if it's this year. So that's coming. Um, Xbox already got a 2 terabyte Xbox uh one X out plus um, for the Series X, um, yeah. So next year, some games are being delayed that was that was planned to come out this year, but they're being delayed until next year. So um, save your money, and I'll keep you guys in the loop on what's going on. And um, yeah, um, yeah, that's what you're gonna have to do for the next four months, you know. Save your money. This is the six. This is the sixty-four gig model Steam Deck. I haven't even upgraded to the OLED yet, <laughs> so I'm just sitting here, just keeping you guys in the loop. But when time come, I'll do it. <clears throat> but not right now. <laughs> so yeah. But these next coming months, man. Um, you know, um, let's see. Uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection is coming out for Xbox One next year. It's coming out for Xbox One next year. The Marvel's Capcom Collection and the Capcom uh, Fighting Collection comes out uh, digitally uh, in a couple of days on the 12th, I think, of September. For and the physical copy comes out in November, I think. Um, for PC, Switch, and um, PS4. <laughs> so yeah, um, of course there's Call of Duty. Um, yeah, so uh, you got a. You got, you got you got some games coming uh, updates are coming but right now the, the end of we're in the end of summer right now so when it comes to video games I and mean your consoles um, it's about uh, preparing for the uh, for the winter you know so <laughs> so you want to get your store your storage in order you know get your storage in order for your consoles your portable PCs your desktop and your laptop because updates are gonna be like this marching in so yeah <laughs> yeah, so get ready for that. But anyway, I'll keep you guys in the loop on what's going on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Star Trek thing. Bork, Dark Side. Go. Peace.